All right, so while I was down at ComplexCon, I ended up going out to dinner with the Index PDX folks as well as Deadstock Coffee. And basically, Mikey ended up picking up the bill from Index, but I was kind of upset by that because I didn't want him to be paying the bill. I wanted to split it with him, but he wouldn't let me do it. So I told him, uh, when we get back to Portland, I'm going to swing by the stop and buy a pair of sneakers and drop off some Adidas employee store passes. So I ended up making good on my word. I stopped by the shop and I'll show you guys what I picked up. What is going on guys, Has here from CollectiveKicks.com where you guys can actually go and see this week's top sneaker deals. It is linked at the top of the description if you guys want to go shopping. In this video I wanted to show you guys myself shopping around Index PDX and basically I was just looking around trying to find a pair of sneakers to buy because I made good on a promise to Mikey that I would swing by the shop and pick up something. If you guys didn't know I already picked up a couple pairs of sneakers from their shop such as the DB1s. Also the DB6s, as well as the Oregon State 9s. So it's definitely a shop that I like to frequent and go check out anytime I get a chance. And it wasn't too difficult for me to try to find a pair of sneakers for me to cop. They ended up having a pretty good amount of heat in the store, including the Carhartt Air Jordan 4s, which were a cool $16,000. I wouldn't have paid over 15 k but they were asking 16 so I didn't end up copping them. Which actually, I thought those were going for like 28 k or something like that. So 16 is not even that bad of a deal. Also, they had those Espo joints, which were really crazy to see in person. I haven't seen those in years. A lot of people probably don't know what they are, but they were clear. Definitely a really crazy looking shoe. And similar to the Invisible Woman Air Force Ones. And they came with socks even that you could wear with those shoes. But uh, they had one really, really nice pair and then one older pair. But it was fun looking through the shop and trying to find something that uh, I could end up buying. And I ended up walking away with this pair right here. And um, this one is a pair that I have been on the hunt for for a long time. And I'm really happy that I ended up getting them from Index. Really decent price on these and I actually went with the right size because this shoe fits a little bit small. Uh, it's definitely one that has lost a lot of hype. And because of that, the price has fluctuated here and there but at the same time I'm super excited because I have the shoes finally so here we have it it is a pair of sneakers in an orange box oh yeah so this this was my pickup man's I was so excited that they had these in my size in dead stock so here we have it, the KD4 Galaxy All-Star Joints right here. One of the best All-Star packs of all time in my opinion. Uh, nothing has really come close to that one since. But this one is the one that escaped me. I had the Kobe's at one point, I had the LeBron's at one point, and I still have my Galaxy Foams even though they're really, really small. I still have rocked these twice even though I have to take out the insoles. But when these were gifted to me, I just can't give them up though. Uh, so I have the Galaxy Joints and the KD's and I believe those are the only ones I have left because I sold the other ones. I really wish I had the full set. I definitely ain't going to be on the market again for a Big Bang because the one I had was actually just too small. So I need to get a Big Bang uh, LeBron in a size 10. Uh, but these are a size 10 KD and uh, I'm really excited to have these to rock them. Glow in the Dark Souls. And that galaxy print on the midsole is just done so well. It has so much detail to these shoes that you could just tell they did a phenomenal job with the concept and they really, really executed it well. A lot of the newer releases just don't seem to have the same sort of TLC that this galaxy pack had. And it feels like if they would have as much dedication, they might be able to knock another one out of the park. But the galaxy liner on this is just crazy as well. It has that crazy galaxy print. It also has the, the patches on the tongue. It says pull for lockdown on the strap. You open up the strap and there's definitely some crazy orange underneath there. I also like the orange swooshes on the shoe. It just adds a lot of pop to the overall element and design of the shoe. Uh, but this was one of those ones where it escaped me and I've just been waiting for a good price. 450 was kind of the market price on them and I just didn't want to pay 450 for the shoes. I got them for significantly less than uh, 450. They had them listed in store at 300. So, and they had, I think one more of them in stock also. But uh, it's always fun to find random gems like this and it's cool to be able to go into the store 
And this time I was there with a purpose. I was like, I'm gonna buy something. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna buy something. And looking through, and then when I found this one, it was that moment where I was like, am I looking at this right? Like this, they have these in stock. Like I couldn't believe it and the price was right. Uh, and so this was an easy one for, for me to pull the trigger on. But question for you guys out there watching the video, have you guys recently picked up a pair of gems from the past that you guys remember seeing that you finally got your hands on because the price was right? But I'm really curious to see what you guys may have picked up from a past release. It's fun to be able to dig up some past releases. We're so saturated with the releases in this day and age that it's fun to be able to go back and look at some of the ones that drop and be like, dang man, now I, now I have the ones that I wanted from back in the day. So I'm super stoked on that and uh, this was definitely a come up for me and super happy that I ended up picking up this pair. But shout out to the good folks at Index PDX, T, Mikey, Cam, everybody else over there, good people. And I always love going over there and shout out to Deadstock Coffee as well. I went over there and grabbed a coffee beforehand because if you're in Portland area, there's Compound, Deadstock Coffee, and Index PDX. It's like the trifecta for sneaker shopping in one little block area, so it's definitely worth checking out if you're ever in the Portland area. The other ones that I wanted to get that I didn't actually pull the trigger on was the Coraline Dunks. They had a pair in a 9.5 in my size, and I really want those shoes, but man, for 450 I was like, I can't do it yet. I just need to find a good one. Uh, for a little bit less of a price. Speaking of trifecta though, Compound Gallery, I ended up getting a couple shirts from there and I wanted to show you guys the pickups that I ended up getting. Uh, first things first, I ended up getting this brown-ish shirt. Has a Compound Gallery logo on the front, but it says on the back uh, this, as you can see. So it's kind of like a Portland um, Compound sticker pulling off sort of look and I thought it was really cool. And so I decided to get this one. And I don't have too many brown shirts, so it's kind of fun to throw one of these in the mix. Also, for the shirt that I'm wearing, if you're curious about this, I got it from Extra Butter. And uh, I posted it in my Complex Con haul. If you guys want to check out that video, go check my channel. The other ones I ended up getting from over there, I ended up getting this kind of uh, nice little color of the Billionaire Boys Club. And it's the reverse logo, as you can see right there also has the little Moon Man logo on the back. I just like this one though, I thought it was cool. I thought it might be a good match for these Yeezys, maybe a little bit off. But regardless, I like the color, I thought it was pretty nice. And the last shirt that I ended up getting was kind of an undefeated Wheaties looking shirt. So I like the, the branding on it. Obviously I'm a big fan of undefeated. I buy a lot of undefeated hats as well as some tees. And this one being orange definitely is an easy addition to my collection and uh, you can never have too many gray shirts, right? But that was my sneaker shopping experience at Index PDX. Anyways, that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pickups. I'm super, super happy that I ended up finally getting one of my gems from back in the day. And I'm um, happy to share it with you guys. And it's fun to be able to share these type of videos with you guys and thumbs up uh, to you guys for watching the videos. I'm giving you a thumbs up. You can reciprocate if you want. But at the end of the day, it's really fun for me to be able to be like, dudes, look what I got. I, I finally got them. And then hopefully some of you guys will be like in the comments like, yeah, I recently got this, or I recently got that, or I missed out on this one, and um, the prices were right, and so I pulled the trigger and got something else. Like, it's fun to look back and look at the the overall long-term game of sneakers, and not just on the week-to-week -week come ups that people try to get to flip and sell and everything else. Not that that's bad, but for me, I've been doing this for so many years, it's fun to have that passion and that hobby and to be able to share it with others and have other people actually relate and get it, which is the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel and the entire reason why I'm continuing to produce content uh, for you guys and with you guys more of because it's fun for me to be able to be uh, kind of immersed in this whole sneaker scene, whether it's a huge sneaker YouTuber or whatever it might be, it's still really cool to be part of it. Um, and I'm just on this side of the camera, but at the end of the day, I'm just an average consumer that shares my experiences with other people. But it's fun for me to be able to share this sneaker obsession and sneaker hobby with you guys and know that there's other crazy people like myself out there that like sneakers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again for watching. If you guys stayed to the end, much, much appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more videos, click the notification bell, yada, 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 screen if you want to watch another video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.